Hello everyone, my name's Richard. I run The School Night Vegan, which is a vegan food blog. So many of us are locked, locked down. So many of us are trapped at home. And we want to encourage you guys to discover at home. And by that, we mean don't stop searching, don't stop exploring just because you're trapped at home. Make sure that you're experiencing new things, new flavors, new foods, new cooking, all sorts of stuff, okay? So my focus is in the kitchen. And what I'm trying to do is encourage you guys to try an old classic, which is a vegan, a uh, full English breakfast, but to put a vegan twist on it. So we're not using any meat, we're not using any dairy, we're just using plant-based products. The ingredients for the baked beans, we've got 100 grams of passata, we've got half a yellow onion chopped really finely, we've got about a tablespoon of soy sauce, light soy sauce, not dark soy sauce, um, and then these are our sort of herbs and spices. We've got some thyme, just a pinch of thyme, a pinch of dried oregano. We've got about two tablespoons of um, tomato puree. Some people call that tomato paste, but it's the stuff that comes in the, in the tube. It's the really thick concentrated stuff. Um, we've got about a tablespoon of light brown sugar, and we've got about a quarter of a teaspoon of smoked paprika. And that is the ingredients for our beans. Oh, I didn't even mention beans as well. <laughs> I'll have to go in there at some point. Um, we are also gonna be making some aubergine bacon or eggplant bacon. So we've obviously got uh, aubergine, we've got a massive thing of salt, which we're not gonna be using, so ignore that. We have got uh, two tablespoons of agave syrup. If you've not got agave syrup, you can use maple syrup or golden syrup, any sort of liquidy sweet syrup. We have got, how much of this have we got? We've got a teaspoon of liquid smoke. Oh no, sorry, that's three teaspoons of liquid smoke. If you don't have liquid smoke, don't worry about it. Just up the amount of smoked paprika that you're going to use. We're using a teaspoon of smoked paprika, but if you don't have liquid smoke, just put two or three teaspoons of liquid paprika in there. Um, and then finally, we've got 100 milliliters of dark soy sauce this time. And you'll see this all come together. Don't panic. It will make sense in a minute. And then finally, for our grilled tomatoes, we've got some nice ripe tomatoes. Um, we've also got a little bit of light brown sugar, some more smoked paprika. This is going to be one smoky breakfast. And we've got a little bit of light miso paste. You can use dark miso paste. You can use brown rice miso paste if you have it. You can also just leave it out completely if you don't want to, um, if you don't have any, anything like that. So don't worry, it's a non-essential ingredient. If you do leave it out, maybe substitute with a little bit of... Um, uh, soy sauce, light soy sauce could work great. Okie doke. So let's get cracking. Because first things first, we are gonna take our chopped onion and I'm gonna get my garlic crusher. I'm gonna crush a clove of garlic. Just scrape that off. I'm going to turn the hob on. I've got this at number eight on an induction, so I want it quite high because I really want to fry these onions off quite quickly. So just a little bit of olive oil in a small saucepan. That's probably about two tablespoons worth. And I'm going to get a nice spatula. This is my favorite one. And while that gets really nice and hot, I'm gonna pop the onions in. And I'm not putting the garlic in just yet, because it will burn. We wanna take our time with that. I'm gonna chuck in my garlic in with my onion. I'm gonna make sure that's nice and cooked before I add the rest of my ingredients. I'm gonna grab my bolotta beans, add these to the pan. So I'm gonna add the rest of my ingredients. Add the passata, and just let it cook while those while the tomato cooks, just let the passata cook down. So next thing we're gonna do is make the aubergine bacon. I slice the top off my aubergine, and then lengthways, I'm gonna slice it in half. I'm just gonna slide the aubergine over the blade until we get really nice thin slices of aubergine like this. In a bowl, I'm gonna to mix together the ingredients for my bacon marinade, and I'll talk you through what those are again. We've got 
100 milliliters of dark soy sauce, two tablespoons of agave syrup, one teaspoon of smoked paprika, just pop that in, three teaspoons of liquid smoke. So I'm gonna give that a little whisk off. It should be very, very dark and it should smell really, really nice and smoky. All I'm gonna do is take the skin off and from each piece of aubergine, you'll get two slices of bacon. I'm gonna pop that into here, give it a little flip. And once it's in the marinade, um, I would say minimum amount of time your aubergine should be spending in there is about 20 minutes. I'm gonna get my grilled tomatoes on. So we've got about a tablespoon of white miso, about half a teaspoon of light brown sugar, and about half a teaspoon of smoked paprika. I'm gonna stick those in there. I'm gonna put a little drizzle of olive oil on top. Mash that up a little bit. All I'm gonna do is take the tomato, flip it on its side, and slice right through the center. I'm just gonna get some of this marinade and just push it on the top like this. Just really make sure we get all of that flavor into there. And they are gonna go under the grill at full temperature until they're nice and brown and bubbly on the top. I'm gonna to do a little drizzle of olive oil, extra, and another little pinch of flaky sea salt just to make sure they're really nice and tasty. I'm also gonna put in with them our um, sausages. I'm just gonna pop these on the tray and we're gonna put that onto the grill. All I'm gonna do for the bacon is stick it on like a sort of medium high heat and get another little drizzle of olive oil. You really don't need much, just a little glug. Um, so here's my marinated aubergine bacon. Four. How many should we do? Six? I think we should do six. Right. Okay, I'm going to flip the bacon. Looking good. Um, I'm just going to flip my toast up to the top shelf. Put some strips of bacon. I'm going to add some beans. Pop these. And then, because I'm bougie, I'm just going to do a little sprinkle of paprika, not paprika, what am I on about? Parsley on the tomatoes and on the beans. And that's ready to serve. Please have a go of trying to make this yourself. If you do, and hey, I, I don't mind if you be creative and put your spin on it, completely change it swap the ingredients out, add an element, minus an element, I don't care. Just try and make this, make your own vegan full English breakfast. And if you do, post it on Instagram, tag Mercure Hotels, and use the hashtag discover at home. I really hope this has helped you guys to feel like you're sort of not trapped in a, uh, in a little room so much and um, make sure that you do try and discover new things wherever possible, particularly in the kitchen.